So I knew that Sean and Rebecca are assassins. I, I had a hunch it is doubtful I will ever be caught again. Not anytime soon. I'm not sure. Quit my job or press forward. There's still so much work to do. I don't know why I care so much. I would have went home. I would have took my happy ass home. Let's try Melanie's office first. Her computer is the last computer you can hack. Okay, good. So I couldn't hack the receptionist, dude. I, I tried for a while, dude. I thought I couldn't find it. So her computer is the last one we have to hack. That is so comforting. And you just have to do it after we're done. All right. That's how you get 100% in this game, dude. Let me just play one last game of Frogger inside this game of Assassin's Creed 4. Black Flag. Ooh. Fuck. I thought I could do it in the one take again. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. There you go. There you go. I'm not quite done with this fucking game yet, dude. I'm re I'm gonna go I'm I'm gonna read all this stuff and I'm gonna piece it together because I actually Initial care about reports this. on Aveline de Grand Prix go. led us to believe she would be too controversial and impulsive to appeal to a wide audience. Teenage memories show her brainwashed and trained to kill political foes of her highly unstable mentor, Agate. Additionally, Aveline spent a disappointing amount of time in the Louisiana Bayou, consorting with smugglers of the lowest kind. Oh, I try never to think. <laughs> I never played this we one, dude. risked her appeal to our female audience, which is now approaching 50%. However, as Aveline matured, a new side emerged. A well-mannered and considerate lady of poise and compassion. Aveline came to embrace a new mentor, her stepmother, Madeline Delisle, a tireless fighter for the rights of slaves. Thank you, Madeleine. With some editing to prioritize this relationship, we feel Aveline's story will more than meet our needs. Our team recommends a go on this property. Get this one to market quickly. But Ezio didn't like Ezio didn't make it. Altair didn't make it, and Connor didn't make it. But how did she make it? There must be something I'm missing there. That that must be what is it? Um, I don't even know what it's called. Assassin's Creed, isn't it just liberation? Right? It's just liberation, isn't it? I forget. I want to play Freedom Cry. Um, we now have 100% in this game. Alright, my dude, let's go to my files. Let's look at everything. Employee, okay, I don't care about the employee passport. We've seen all these things. Um, have we? Another thing about Bloom, dude. Another thing about Bloom. I need to play Watch Dogs for this channel. I really do. Dude, Melanie is uh, basically kind of rooting for us here and saying that obviously, dude, they're making movies and games and entertainment with snaky ass fucking reasons behind them. Uh, so we're saying we're not using the memories for no reason. We're using them because their boss, Letizia, <laughs> wants them for the observatory, I'm assuming. Olivier, Mel is getting mad, dude. Like, she's getting mad that they're getting these memories and there's like there's secret motivations behind it and she's getting mad at Olivier and Olivier's like dude I'm trying to save you from Abstergo Industries the fucking Templars dude that's crazy this is this is interesting shit this is this adds a lot to lore and and I keep every time I th every time I see Olivier I think of Watch Dogs I can't help it and Olivier is just he just seems like a cool dude Cecil of the Observatory, Las Vegas attraction, okay, Assassin's Templars, Pirate Sharks, all that stuff, that's cool. Confirm, for instance, that our precursor race use such a device in conjunction with their inherent precognitive abilities to locate. No fucking way, dude. This device allowed the first civilization to look forward into the future so specifically that they knew exactly how to get Desmond Miles and all these things, all these games and the events that have been happening in them are because they use this machine, supposedly. Holy shit, dude. Oh, that's just one. Oh my god. 
These blood vials, dude. We keep seeing these. We saw these in 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 the memories. So we have the blood cubes. We have these crystal skulls. All these things are like they're adding up. The memory seals. I I don't remember what those are. Yeah, dude. I remember these memory seals. These are from Revelations. The seals used by the Altair to pass memory information to Ezio are suspected to be, are suspected to be functional to this day. Their whereabouts are unknown. Yeah, that's... Wow, dude. This game is going nuts. Subject... I want to listen to these all these audio things. February 12, 1981. Warren Vidic. Qualitative personal interview with Subject 1. On ancestral research regarding Avalon de Grand Prix. How are you feeling? Any side effects? Not really. Aside from the headaches. They've been worse since I started staying in longer. But I don't want to stop. I like her. I want to know what she does next. What's it like? Reliving her memories. So different. The animus, I mean. The past. At first it was confusing. Distracting. Like New Orleans? The stench. I wasn't expecting all the smells. Smell is the sense most directly linked to memory. When I'm in her memories, it's like really? I can smell more than I usually can. In general, women have a more acute sense of smell than men do. I had wondered how that would translate. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Sh she's smaller than me, but it's like her body could do more. Did that surprise you? At first, yeah. The ERA people might hate me for this or whatever, but I don't usually think of girls that way. Climbing things. My mom, my sisters. But the animal feeling of Aveline sinking her hidden blade in the throat of... Go on. It doesn't feel... Feminine. What I think of as feminine. Dude. But then at the same time it does. Her center of gravity is way lower. That was a surprise. How easy it is to land. How steady I am on her, her feet. Sorry. This is hard to talk about. No, it's, it's fascinating. This is what we need. Pure experience, in your own words. I kind of okay. agree. I Can kind you of tell me about Gerald Blunk? I don't know who that or is. about him? He and Avalon were close, but we haven't been able to ascertain if he might be your missing ancestor. Do her memories suggest anything to you? Um... Does this make you uncomfortable? Remember, these are her memories. You're just playing them back. It's not even acting. You're a researcher. Like you say, I haven't experienced her consummating anything. That, that would be... Anyway, I think maybe she was confused. Oh. Well, um, first of all, I don't really know for sure, okay? I mean, guys think about sex more than girls, right? That's a fact. As a researcher, what did you observe? Come on. Does it mean she's more like a guy if she thinks about... Is that why she's able to assassinate... Well, okay, here's the thing. I don't know her thoughts, but from what's in her memories, physically, the, the, the fidgeting, some hesitation, what she looked at, who she looked away from, the things she didn't say when I expected her to... If I had to guess what it meant, I would think she was thinking about... Sex. But I'm a guy, so I would think that, right? So what does it mean for women to act that way? Uh, That's such a 1980s mindset, else, dude. Right? As a subject, you're able to observe more finely than I am in review. What about unwanted attention from men? Well, I thought that would be the hardest thing to deal with. I'm not into that, for the record. Not yeah. at all. Yes, I know. But... The way she dealt with it. it what is it? So Why does it seem like he's like? It's like he's like closeting himself. She does to avoid it. <laughs> you know what Crossing I mean? Crossing the street, eyes in the back of her head. She knew how to handle herself when she was charming. Felt kind of similar to killing, or the build-up to killing. I. Can we take a break, Mr. Biddick? Of course. Wow. 
Ready to go on? Yes. Avalyn was black. That was a quick break. And white. On her father's side. You're sensitive to that? I guess. I mean, I'm white. Aveline looks black, so that's different. But y you get used to it. Like, with the girl thing. Until someone makes you not used to it. What do you mean? I don't think I've ever had to think so much about what I'm wearing or how I'm walking. But Aveline, it's like... She goes through her whole life in these... Uniforms. People expect her to behave in a certain way. Definitely. Sometimes I worry I'll slip up and play too relaxed at the warehouse and, I don't know, blow her cover. That's so weird. You can't blow her cover. I know, I know. I'm just replaying the memories. I can't change them, I know. But, but I, I see it, right? It's a risk. It's... Stressful? Yes. It's best when she goes out as an assassin. On the roofs or in the bayou. I think she was more relaxed that way. Can you imagine? You're only relaxed when you're going to kill someone. Let's stick to memories rather than imagination. What about the slaves? That was, kinda a, just that was a Vidic answer. Everywhere. I mean, that, that sounds bad. Slavery is bad. But, but no one's acting like slavery is bad. It's fun when she frees slaves. Is it supposed to be fun? We're not looking for supposed to. Focus on what it is. <laughs> not gonna pretend like I knew what that was. That was all Abstergo Industries. Um, this is subject, the Subject 17 stuff. We've already seen this one. We've seen this one. We, I want to listen to these memos, dude. What's up, internet people? I don't usually do this kind of thing where I, you know, I'm editing the video right now. And I just realized how long the Subject 17 audio files, whatever, the memos, and the Subject Zero audio files, those, yeah, those are some lengthy things by themselves. So obviously I put them out as separate videos before... Um, I decided to finally, like, actually conclude shit on AC4. So, um, yeah, my thoughts about this, it's, the shit was crazy. I thought the Subject Zero stuff was fascinating. I genuinely, honestly, thought the way that it was acted out and the way that it was able to paint a picture with no visual element and just audio was actually, it was really well done. I really liked it. I got a feel for what was actually happening in the story. Just that little little story that we got, you know, among these five audio recordings, lengthy ass audio recordings, obviously a half an hour worth of footage. Um, yeah, I found it to be really interesting. I actually dug it a lot. An artifact? What sort of artifact? Jesus, get him out of there! Get him out! Oh my God. It'll kill him! He's not the couple! He's having a fucking seizure! Power down! Now! Rate 170. Down now. Holy fucking shit. It really nails home that Warren Vidic is not a decent dude. And he's he's mostly just after anything that benefits himself. And uh, which is kind of ironic because that sounds like the protagonist of this game that we just played. Uh, Edward Kenway. And how risky the science was behind the Animus. And you know obviously the Animus is like the one of the main things that we use that allows us to go and play these characters in, in history. So to see it kind of finally being fleshed out, I thought that was really cool and how dangerous it was at first. You know, these things are kind of sketchy. And I know I went in reverse order, but uh, I found the Subject 17 stuff, the Desmond phone recordings to be, I thought those were really interesting too, because it offers a unique perspective. It offers it a perspective from Desmond's eyes, even after he's dead, but it's not really through Desmond's eyes because, I mean, it is, but the way that he describes it is just something else because obviously we can see it and we can hear it, but we can't actually feel it because he's a fucking video game character. So I thought it was really cool to, you know, in both of these scenarios, they both painted such a wonderful picture and they allowed me to actually get in my feels a little bit. I really dug these, t these little tidbits of lore, so yeah. <laughs> Quiet, 
Joan. Quiet! Jo what the fuck? Oh my goodness, dude. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to show, but that was all just crazy. We've seen all these. I'm going to read all these sticky notes and then just... That'll be it. And that'll be this game. This we call the Grey. Being that we are instruments of her wills, instruments of the first will, the original will, we submit this credo to the world. We submit ourselves to eternal servitude in service of a grander fulfillment. We submit the world itself to being a product that she feeds to life and death to death. Something. May she, mother, sister, wife, lover, friend, bring light to darken mind and humility to those who sucker for its wisdom. Guide us into the gray, beloved guide us. Honestly, I have no idea what the fuck this is talking about. Something that humans, this is all based in lore. That the first civilization are the real owners of this planet. They own this planet for real. And humans are nothing but servile tools that that are just being tricked into thinking that we actually have this planet as our lockdown. And that we are actually not the real, you know, the dominant species of this bitch. And that the internet is going to be <laughs> not only the death of us, you know, because that's like the metaphor of what that actually was talking about, I think. But also in this game, the internet is going to be how Juno and Minerva, or mostly Juno, come back and fuck shit up. That may or may not be useful, but we did it. That was crazy. So we definitely know that those sticky notes were left by uh, John from IT, a.k.a. Bartholomew Roberts, a.k.a. a dude who is being transcended through fucking time like it's nobody's business. And I think with that mess of fucking lore just thrown into my brain that I've never had before, I think I'm going to call that a game. I think I'm going to call that Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Thanks for watching. I really enjoyed playing this game, dude. And now finally I get to play something that I have, I have yet to play. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.